this broadcast. Can you hear Daisy? Please hey, respond. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I look like I'm like a, like I'm a, a, a blob. <laughs> Not even like in real time. Yeah, they're they're all like blur, like blurry and magical. So okay, I don't see any comments yet. I know they're a little slow. Oh, hey Kelly. Hey Kelly, can you hear Daisy? Hey Kelly. Can you hear that? Can Hi hear Lisa. Me? Can you hey, hear Lisa. Daisy? Somebody answer that question, please. If you can hear Daisy, Daisy, keep talking. Yes. Somebody can hear me. Okay. Now, answer us this. Does it sound like super far away or is it doable? <laughs> because what you're hearing is her through my phone because we can't galaxy. get the sound here. I'm in a galaxy far, far away. I think people can hear you. Really? Oh, wait. Dale says barely. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's bad, you guys. We've been, we've been troubleshooting my God. for approximately 30 minutes. <laughs> Trying to get this damn thing to work. It worked so beautifully yesterday and today. I don't know what our deal is, but we can't get it to work. People are saying they can hear us both. Yeah, but is it good? Is it okay? Like, are you got? Can you deal with the fact that it's not great? Michael but, says far away. But like, is it okay? Like, should we keep this broadcast going, or should we just scrap it and wait for Monday? She's gonna yeah. sound low and muffled. But She's like, I'm in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> but you guys, is it doable? Is it all right? They're saying far but doable. We can do a small. Let's do it. Let's do a short one. Okay. All right. Because we we have to mention the the phases, right? Like the the big plan to reopen the yeah. economy came there's out phases. yesterday. There's phases. And there's some phasing going on. And actually, yeah. I was going to use my phone. <laughs> to reference the phasing but now i can't i've got you on my phone you put me down. this is not helpful at all and people are saying i'm really loud okay so i'm just gonna talk listen quieter. she is really loud that's who she is as, as a, a person, person. <laughs> okay um people are saying you can it's doable so, I can't wait for this crap to be over. I'm oh my so God. sick of this. You should have heard the curse words that were flying out of my mouth. About there were a lot. <laughs> 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. I think people think I sound loud by comparison. Yeah. <laughs> because. Because I'm in a tunnel. Yeah. Because you're literally, you guys, you're hearing her through my phone. This yeah. is how you're hearing her, right? Like you're because not hearing her through the actual app. Technology. <laughs> we're really good at it. That's why we're syndicated. <laughs> uh, see, somebody said, put the phone closer to the mic. I would love to do that if in fact I knew where my mic was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but on my laptop, you guys, I don't have a clue where it actually is. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so the phases, phase one. Well, and before phase one, there is the gating. Did you hear about the gating? Oh, we're going to be gated. We're going to be gated. So awesome. there's gating, which requires like a downtrend of cases. And it just requires a 14 day display by each state that shows that they're on the decline. And you guys, Gating to me sounds like I'm part of a, a group of cattle. <laughs> it reminds me of boarding a Southwest flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. That's it's what it weird. sounds like to me. It's so weird. <laughs> it's okay. All right, gating. Yeah, right. so gating. So there's got to be this 14 day downtrend. And yeah. there's got to be all kinds of other stuff like sentinel surveillance, which, okay, there's going to be all these things that have to be in place before you can even go to phase one. And then phase one is like, you know, some 
things can get a little bit more normal, but not really, and still super vulnerable. People have to hide and all that. And so there's okay. these gradual phases until you get to phase three, which is the most normal, but still not normal. Because what's amazing about that whole thing is that not once was anything mentioned, nor were any questions asked about when is the world going to start traveling again? Because even after phase three, it's just talking about the United States. So like what yeah. happened? I mean, are we going to when do like people from China, for example, get to start coming here? And because maybe they shouldn't ever. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're the one who said it. <laughs> you are a Chinese. I know. <laughs> I know you're such a Chinese. They can't ever come here ever. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys. that was never asked. And I was just really surprised by that. Well, I mean, I don't, it's, it's probably going to be what? 18 months. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Rona. <laughs> so bad during allergy season. Um, it's gonna be what eighteen to to two years, eighteen months to two years before we all probably get back to real normal. You know, did you guys know that we have six hundred and twenty-one clinical trials? currently in clinicaltrials.gov. Wow. Right on vaccines or like on therapies? For, for, yeah, for therapies, for vaccines, 621. If you go to, if you want, if you're like a geek like me and you want to see what that entails, there are companies right now all over the country. This is, I guess, I this is American companies <coughs> that are, working on therapies and vaccines and um and things that'll help and this is not just hydrochloroquine right these are you know like like lily for example they're they're putting together cocktails that include like hiv drugs um a what's lot, that a one the one that starts with the r like rem desivir rem desivir or whatever that yeah, is there's yeah there's apparently there's really good luck with that yeah, and they and a lot of um, HIV drugs, cancer drugs, a lot, a lot of autoimmune drugs, um, which I used to work in autoimmune at Lilly. So I find I'm fascinated by it that they're taking some of these drugs and they're helping um, people with coronavirus. Anyways, it's 621. That's amazing. So, and, well, they're, and they're fast tracking a lot of this stuff. So I hope that there's going to be a vaccine here pretty soon. Um, it's not. A couple. Yeah. And and if there's therapies, like if there's a antivirals that are actually effective, then maybe everybody can just calm down knowing that there's treatment, right? Listen, and like somebody said, Chris pointed out, um, listen, vaccines don't work because we have vaccines for the flu, blah. Okay. I get it. I get it. It may not work for everybody. I still get the flu shot every year. Me too. Because I mean, it, there may be different strains of this thing, and this is this is not the flu, <clears throat> right? It's not the flu. Yeah, I know I sound like I'm in a tin can. Yeah, I mean that's the thing, you guys. It's Sorry, just, we you're hearing her through my phone, <laughs> so it's not going to be good sound today. But you guys, everything is going to be back to normal on Monday. I'm going to be <laughs> back. We're going to be actually in the same room again. Can it's going to be totally normal. Two weeks. It's been 21 days basically since we've been normal. By the God, time we come back that's right. together on Monday. Yeah, 21 days. Oh, yeah. my God, that's right. Yeah, COVID can suck it. <laughs> so By the way, so you know what? They can really suck it hard because last night I got the email notification that my Robbie Williams show canceled. Oh, my God. And that's 4th of July weekend, you guys. 4th yeah. of July is already canceled. And I don't know if that was in response to these phases and they just figured there's no way Vegas is going to be up and running by then. Or because it's a, you know, it's a concert, everybody's super close together. And so they're just like, there's no way that that's, yeah. concerts are just no way they're, that's going to be that happening. That sucks. I'm sorry. I mean, I knew my, it was coming. <clears throat> my daughter was supposed to go to Texas A&M Aggie Swim Camp. It's called Fish Camp this summer. And it was supposed to be like in May, June. And they pushed it to July. And then they canceled that two days ago. God. And she was devastated. 
I don't yeah, know if my kid's going to even have a summer lacrosse turn. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know if they're going to be playing anything. They probably won't. That sucks. It sucks for I mean, they're, they're already canceling everything for summer. Yeah. So it sucks. It really totally does. sucks. Um, I, <laughs> I saw it because you were responsible for putting together the show lineup today. And there was that story about police somewhere warning some somebody on their social media. Listen, you know who you are. Please put on pants when you check the mail. Is that not great? It's in Maryland. And I'm like, this is so universal. Because nobody wears pants anymore. Nobody you needs to wear to. pants at home. Hey, speaking of not wearing pants. Oh. Rob, say hey. Oh. That's so great. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys i swear um i'm so sick of this crap have i mentioned how sick of this crap i am <laughs> should we take some questions i do see lots of comments coming in so i think yeah. we're getting them more on time um they're really going fast though so they have to be short because <laughs> they go up the screen so quickly um i'm looking i'm looking i see a lot of good Ross mornings is hi rob hi. Hi. look at rob's hair <laughs> it's messy. I you got some cut. messy hair. Um, no more bald spot. What? No more bald. No more bald spot for Rob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, people are saying the sound is doable. It's fine. I love Trump over your shoulder. Who's the creeper? <laughs> I think they mean you, Rob. <laughs> uh polio vaccine everyone is immune i don't know what that means but i'm wouldn't it be great if there was like an actual vaccine that was like it really works for everybody like a polio vaccine that would be amazing. yeah that would be great amazing um how can trump go around schumer for money yeah because this whole this whole thing with the the small business loans running out that's awful absolutely it's awful not, it's not acceptable especially when the kennedy center got what like what was it 25 35 million is that right yeah like, 25 million yeah and and then the whole freaking congress gets salary now you know they have a whole they have padding for their salary and their staff support yeah but meanwhile small businesses are going out of business because they can't get a loan this is nuts yes yeah, it's ridiculous and small businesses are the backbone of this country and they just they don't seem to give two crafts about it because you know listen the people in congress senators they don't they've never started anything they've never run anything they've never worked a real job in their lives i know and their their pay hasn't been cut at all somebody oh rob somebody wants to know if you've had a date with sean yet <laughs> no the answer is no <laughs> uh ruth's chris got 20 million dollars and they're not a small business you know that's interesting because we talked about that was it on the show or off the show that we were talking it was about? on the show okay because i was trying to understand what we were qualifies you as a small business i thought you had to have 500 or fewer employees and ruth's chris is a gigantic global company i would think they have way more than 500 employees so that was a little surprising although listen i would love for ruth's chris to stay in business you know I yeah mean, I, I would yeah, I don't want. It's, it's always to... a, it's always a shame when people who serve steak go out of business. Yeah. Uh, thank you for asking about my son. He's doing great. He's at home and he's great. And I actually wouldn't mind if somebody wanted to study him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if Lily was like, we need to figure out how this super vulnerable, massively compromised kid got COVID and really didn't have that bad of a time with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, I feel like that's happening uh, more than what we hear about because you just hear the horror stories, right? Yeah. But I, I, I blame the media for that because the media loves to sensationalize the bad. Yeah. And they don't like to ever profile the good. I know. And that's what they should be doing. How are the people that are getting over it or are not getting any symptoms hardly at all? figure out what they have that the more vulnerable people don't. And then let's, you know, I mean, we yeah. need to capitalize off of that. And I'm still convinced that there are probably a quarter of us, 30% of us walking around with it right now. And we don't even know. Yeah. You we definitely have it. I totally have it. <laughs> and I feel great. 
<laughs> just except for those sneezes. Know. I'm never going to get a test. Well, I'm yeah. Not, I'm not a celebrity. No, you're not, not going to get a test. You're not getting a test. That's, yeah, because that's the way it works <laughs> in this country. You got to have clout. Yeah. Or money. And I have we, don't have those, we don't have those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what other... We, this is question day, so if you got one, ask it. Where? Oh, where are the dogs? One of them's on the couch. I don't know where the other one. Oh, the other one is on this couch. <laughs> They're both being very lazy dogs. No, I still have the zit. You guys look at it. It's humongous, right? Like it has changed the contour of my face. Somebody says you should name it. <laughs> I'm willing they to take suggestions. <laughs> Any suggestions? <laughs> Do you yeah. remember that story that I told you when I had the giant one on my chin where the, the technician at the dermatologist's office actually visibly recoiled from me? Because they, <laughs> remember? Because it was so mad. This was years ago. And I go in and I'm in the waiting room and the nurse comes in and she's not looking at me. She's like looking at her pad like this. She's like, okay, it's mock here. You're here to see the doctor. Why? And then she looks up and she was like, oh, Oh God. <laughs> and then she was like, Oh honey, I'm so sorry. This is what she says to me. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, can you do something? And they ended up, they ended up like injecting. I don't even I know like, what. It's like the steroid probably. Yeah. They, they like injected it and it like grew way bigger for a second. But then by the end of the day, it was, it was much better. I don't know if this one's like ready for an injection. People are saying, name it Bernie. <laughs> I love that suggestion. And then you could be talking as my zit. Yeah. You could be like, why you gotta, bring, you gotta bring me into this? Where do you gotta? <laughs> Shut up, poor shorts. I'm not a zit. <laughs> not oh Anyway, I don't think I'm going to get it injected. I think it's like starting to do the thing where it starts to heal. But I guarantee you on Monday when I'm there, it'll still be there. Like this is one I'm of those not, major ones. I am not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is the question that we're doing. This is what right we're now. talking about. Uh, they, somebody talking about. wants to know if the husbands on the right are ever going to be on the show. <laughs> There's no way that they're going to do that. My husband, I think, is in this conversation. Somebody said that I sound like the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one giant step for mankind. <laughs> you, I mean, you do sound very go. tinny. Yeah. You sound a little tinny. But listen, I we do, warned you guys. I know. We told you. We told you it was going to suck this morning. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, well, somebody said, did you see Pelosi's tour of her $24,000 refrigerator and her gourmet ice cream? She's, I did not. Oh I, my I God. heard something about her ice cream. She's ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't see it. If I saw it, it would enrage me. It would. And, and there's yeah. two. She has two <laughs> giant, you know, those really, really fancy um, refrigerators. And that's where she chose to do her video from is in front of her giant and she's like trying to be all relatable, like talking about the kind of yeah. ice cream she has in her giant restaurant well, style freezer. You know, it pays to be a public servant. Oh, right? it definitely does. It definitely I mean, does. And this should enrage everybody. It should piss off everybody. These people make way too much money. I talked about this on my own personal Facebook page yesterday and how senators have no business making $174,000 a year. They don't. None. They have no business making that kind of money. <clears throat> and then majority leaders have no business making $193,000 a year. Oh it's a bunch of bull crap. Oh, my God. It's so yeah. enraging. And that, and so, because that's a huge that's a huge enticement for people to serve for money. Like the yeah. AOCs of the world who were bartending before this. Yeah. I mean, that's a huge incentive. There should be no financial incentive to do this. This should be yeah. a matter of wanting to serve, not, yeah, not wanting to, mention, to get paid. Not to mention the insider trading that's overlooked. Oh, and these yeah. people get so, they get rich as balls. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Um, Kansas City, Missouri mayor says they're on lockdown until May. The governor says May 1st. 
I'm hearing a lot of May 1st just in general, but again, we're in the gating process. <laughs> we have to be gated. So, <laughs> <laughs> so until we get through gating, that's then we can enter phase one. And phase one, you know, there's not a whole lot changing in phase one. So there's still a lot of time. No dates were set because Trump is saying, here you go, governors. Here's here's my plan for reopening. And it's now it's all up to you. And you got to figure out what's going on in your own state. And then we'll go from there. So Tracy, Tracy asked a great question. Why are reps and senators getting checks from us when everybody else has to stop working and lose their livelihood? It's a great question. They it's should give up their question. checks. Yeah, they should give up their checks. Absolutely. Yeah. Why are they canceling summer stuff? No Fourth of July. I know it's the most depressing thing ever. That stuff. It is two, three months from now is already being canceled. It's just, it's awful. It's absolutely yeah. awful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. My husband's business can open in phase one. Yay, John! That's awesome. That is really good. Someone asked what gating means. I don't know. That's just what they said in the presser yesterday. <laughs> Dr. Deborah Burks was standing up there. She's explaining the phases and she said, now keep does in mind. A, does she have a scarf on? Oh yeah, every day. Yeah. Every day she's got a new scarf. And she's yeah. like, you know, you can't enter phase one until you're you're successfully through the gating process. So I had to look that up and I was like, gating, what? And it's just this 14 day thing. Like you have, as a state, you gotta be 14 days on a decline of cases. And then you got to meet some other requirements. And that's the gating process before you're allowed onto the phase one plane. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with like how many ventilators you have left? And then there how is many some of that. Because like here in India, we talk about that every day on our show. Like we have 74% of our ventilators left. We have what, 40 or 50% of our ICU beds. Yeah. I don't know the exact number, but it's pretty, I'm roughly 40 to 50%. So we're doing okay here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, and there's, you know, he was even saying in the press yesterday, there's some states that are going to get through the phases a lot faster than say a New York, right? Because New yeah. York is really, really bad. But, and I feel like we're somewhere in the better two thirds, right? I don't think we're, yeah. we're certainly not New York, but Indiana is not Utah either. We're no, not like no. Wyoming, but you know, we're not, we're not terrible. Like you well, said. in New York, it's understandable in New York because they live on top of one another. Right, right. That uh, it makes sense that they need to, they're probably going to take a little bit more time yeah. to get over this. But us in Indianapolis, we don't do that. And we've also followed all the rules. Exactly. We've been really pretty good about it. You know, with the exception of some people when I drive home every day, I look over at Meyer and Target and Walmart and it kind of looks the same as it did eight weeks ago yeah yeah because it's like the only place you're allowed to go right so everyone's yeah. like, field trip to Meyer. <laughs> yeah exactly um yeah. what was i just gonna ask you um i had something and now i've forgotten it. you guys my anniversary is this weekend oh that's right happy anniversary thank you you're it's gonna have 12th, such a lovely romantic evening in oh it's <laughs> gonna be so romantic with my 10 year old daughter there <laughs> all quarantined in the house it's gonna be so great and i'm sure a lot of people are going through this right where they've had birthdays and anniversaries and i, I told my husband i said i we just get takeout like thai food or something or just barbecue or something i just want to do something different but um, well, that's, yeah, the, that's be... the stuff you guys always do so you need yeah. to do something super different like but, actually get Maybe a really nice candlelit, nice meal delivered. Who, who's doing that? I think there's people. I would have to do it. I would have to do it. And I'm unwilling to do that. <laughs> so I just just want the food and we'll just hang out. Doing and, fun for your that's what he's asking if I'm doing anything fun for my anniversary. And uh, my, I'm sure my husband's out there listening. Well, Hi, we'll Greg. <laughs> and we're probably just going to. You know, chill out. Wear something special. He, am I going to wear something special? Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably just a different set of sweats. Oh. Then, but if, if it, if 
<laughs> it's not like other years, Rob. That it's, wasn't the costume I was picturing. It's not the costume that you're picturing <laughs> in your mind. Boring. <laughs> yeah. You know, my mom was asking me about with these phases. She was like, I just want to know when you and I can go visit Thomas, my older son. And I have no idea what that means. Like I was trying to read through the phases. I literally have no idea when I can go see him, when that's yeah. appropriate. I guess maybe in phase one, because that's when you're allowed to be in groups of 10 or, or, or fewer people. But he's also kind of in not a nursing home, but like a similar thing. Yeah. So then I don't know. I mean, I literally have no idea when I'm going to see my boy. No idea. Yeah, that sucks. They sent. They they keep sending me videos and pictures though, so that helps. But yeah. yeah. But what happens? What happens if you just do it? This is my question. What happens if you break the rules? Nothing. What, I do, guess. what do they do? I mean, I would wear a mask for sure if I went to yeah. the CM. Um, but what if you just want to go see him? Are they going to arrest you? <laughs> I'm not in Michigan, so probably not. <laughs> but that's that's the thing. Are they going to? Are they policing this? Because I imagine there are a lot of police out there, especially because we know a lot of police people, the policemen, police women. I'm sure that a lot of them are like, I'm not going to arrest you. Yeah. This is yeah. yeah. Go well, live your life. The question is, would the house allow me to come in? I, I don't know. I'll yeah. have to ask what their rules, because they have to be really, you know, they got to follow the state rules. And, and yeah. if they're saying no visitors, then there's no visitors, you know? Yeah. It just, that's the worst part. My yeah. mom hasn't yeah. seen her grandson in four, five weeks now. I mean, yeah, that sucks. Oh, I can, there's so many grandparents yeah. out there that haven't seen their grandkids. My mom is the same way. She is, she's like dying to see her granddaughter. Or my my mother in law is the same way. Yeah, they're they're just like God. This sucks. And you they're know? and it's the grandparents that are the vulnerable, right? And so yeah. they got they yeah. got to take care of themselves. Yeah, it's and there, but a lot of those people in that generation, they're just like screw it. I want to see my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, you know? they just they're probably they're more. I guess they just. They're not as scared yeah. as a lot of the younger people because, you know, they've, they've been through some stuff. They've seen the things. <laughs> I know my mom is convinced that she, there's no way that she, even if she got it, there's no way that she wouldn't beat it. And she's probably right. I mean, my mom yeah. is, you know, inching up to 80. She has never had a surgery of any kind. Her body wow. has never been opened <laughs> for any reason. Oh Isn't that gosh. amazing? That is amazing. She's like yeah. a superhero. I don't know how she does yeah, it. Yeah, that is. That's amazing. So, um, okay. We should probably really legit answer some questions. Yeah. Name it. Okay. People are still naming my zit. Seriously? Temple. <laughs> I like it. And my husband's like, oh my God. He just walked in. He was like, your lives are ridiculous. People are naming your zit. Um, <laughs> All right, my mom is in hospice and we can't go see her. Oh my god! Oh my so these god. are the stories that I just. Oh my god! I can't. Oh my god! I cannot. Um. Yeah, a lot of people are sharing their stories about who they can't see, and I get it. I just feel terrible for everybody. Somebody wants to see his wife in a nursing home. I mean, oh. Oh my god! I can't. <clears throat> Yeah, Tom, my mom is a superstar. I, I hope I have some of those genes, but I, you know what? I don't because I already I already inherited like all the bad health stuff from my dad. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dad. <laughs> but yeah, I have all the like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, all that stuff from my dad. Um, people are suggesting that I name it Pelosi. I don't want to do that because I don't want Pelosi anywhere near my face. No. I like Bernie on my face. You know what I mean? Because yeah. then I feel like you can talk. You, you can that like talk. That sounded really bad. <laughs> I mean, it's to be, to be Rewind. Rewind. Add the video and replay it. You got to be careful, man. Okay. Rewind. Rephrase. Yeah. I don't mind naming this Bernie because then she can speak as the, the Zit character. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody just asked, who is your son? There's a bunch of stuff about about Mop Son on our site. You can go read about that. Yeah. Who is he? Well, he's my son. <laughs> he came out of her body. And um, he's your son. 
Somebody asked if salons were open. Man, I wish my son, my younger son's hair is like down to here. And I actually texted my girl, like my normal salon girl. And I said, is there any possibility that you are currently doing house calls? And would you be willing to come? And she's not yet. She was like, yeah. I'm too afraid. I'm going to, you know, I may resort to that in the next couple of weeks if this doesn't let up. But right now she's still just hanging out. How are, those, how are those people surviving? Man, they must be good savers. I don't know because I don't, I don't know how they're doing it because my girl's the same way. She's got three kids. <sighs> I don't know how they're doing it. Wow. Because they're completely closed. My salon is completely closed. And your girl doesn't do house calls either? She's not doing anything. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm just going to be gray. I mean, wouldn't you though? Like if you were a hairdresser, if I were a hairdresser, I would be like, yes, I will come to your house. I will yeah. absolutely, for people that are willing. And you know, there's a lot of people willing. You know, come, people are oh, like, yeah. oh my God, my roots, please come. Well, actually, Terry Stacy, the, the woman who works with us, she was telling me that her lady dropped off stuff on her porch. And then FaceTimed her and walked her through the process. I would never do and that. She, I, I would be would. terrified. And she, and she just touched up her roots. She didn't do highlights or anything like that. She just touched up her roots. I would and be I'm scared. like, I'd do that. Really? I would be terrified yeah. I'd screw it up. And then, and like, then I'd, I'd lay, I'd, the all person. my hair would fall out. It would be awful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just hair. <laughs> you know? Whatever. Yeah I, yeah. I miss my hairdresser. E salon. What is that? Is that, are you kidding? Or is that like an actual thing? Somebody said E salon, Daisy. I don't know e what that means. I don't know. I don't know what that yeah. is either. Um, yeah. <clears throat> when can churches meet in person? Well, people are defying the orders, right? There's preachers all over the country that are like, screw these restrictions. We're going to have church. Um, I don't think that's a terribly smart idea, but like, there's definitely people that are doing that. Uh, see somebody, yeah, somebody had a hair person come to their house. See, some people yeah. are doing it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I just resolved that I'm going to probably go gray. You know, have you seen the thing? Because now, you know, um, there's powder that you can use to cover up gray roots. Have you seen the powder? I, yeah, I, that, and then, like, but people are covering it, and then there's also this new movement of, of girls who are, what is it that, um, oh God, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like, they're going gray. And what is it? What is it when you have the, oh God, I can't remember the name. Anyways, they're going gray and they're, <laughs> they're going gray and like, especially young girls. Oh, wow. Like, so whatever. now they're just trying to make it a thing. Gray. They're trying they're to make gray happen. Yeah. It's like a movement. Okay. Well, I mean, now is as good a time as any. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The people are talking Elizabeth about Madison said. Reed. I've heard of Madison yeah. Reed too, but I'm afraid to do my own hair. I'm just not good at that sort of thing. It's not TV show. That's Trump. That's Trump back there. And behind him is Robbie Williams, who she is hidden, which is me. Um, Ombre, thank you. We're calling it the Grom. It's, it's Grombre. Grombre. Oh, thank that's you, a cute Kelly. name. Yeah. The, the Grombre movement. So it's like, a, it, it's like grayish, but it like fades into whatever color you have. Or is it grayliage? Ooh, that's also, <laughs> you just, yeah. <laughs> Brown gray, grayliage. Um, yeah. By the way, your lineup for the show, for the radio show today is very, very coronavirus-y. I think it is. We're going to need. But there's also. There's also some other stuff in there, like um, Dennehy, Brian Dennehy <gasps> passed away. Like, for and real? So, I bawled when he died in Tommy Boy. <laughs> I know, and it's very sad. And the reason I wanted to include that is because I really liked him. And then also it gives us an excuse to talk about Tommy Boy. <laughs> and Which, what a great movie that yes, was. Yes, that's one of the greatest mm -hmm. of all times. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We need to find some other things, too. Oh, you know what I saw? Um, you guys... Everybody on Ellen DeGeneres' crew, furious with her right now. Because Why? Apparently, well, apparently she's doing the show every day from her house. But because she's doing it from her house, she's she apparently hired like an itty-bitty teeny-weeny crew. All The only thing that she needs in order to do the show. 
And it's she hired non-union people and the communication to her regular staff has been almost nil and their pay has dropped by 60 percent or something. And like no one's talking to them about when they're you know, how much they're going to get paid and when they're going to get paid. And so in comparison to like uh, Jimmy Kimmel and some of the other talk show hosts who are covering their crew's staff personally, she's not doing that. And they're and she's not communicating to her team. So her her crew is really, really mad, apparently. And I was yes. like, that's kind of juicy. And not what you would expect from, you know, sweet as can be Ellen DeGeneres. It's interesting that you say that because I saw an article about her the other day um, and then a video, like a corresponding video where this woman was like, she's not as nice as everybody says she is. She's actually really horrible to work with. And she's she's mean. Like, she's really mean. Well, you know, this, she, she has this persona as being really nice, really charitable. And she, you know, I guess she is charitable. You can be charitable when you're a billionaire, right? Except not but, to your uh, own employees? I mean, yeah, nice. but they say she's a real, she's a real ball buster to work with. And she's also mean. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get on her bad side, she will try to ruin you. Wow. That's not, that's not very nice. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought that was of interest. I saw that on the on the Daily Mail this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always interesting when you find out how people really are. I know, I know, especially when it's so completely counter to the image yeah. that they've put out there. Yeah, or the image that the media wants them to have. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You guys, everything is going to be back to normal on Monday for us, anyway. <laughs> Not yes. the world, but like. Our situation Thank with you, video. Jesus. <laughs> so over this, I cannot wait to be yeah. back in the studio. I cannot wait. Yeah, sorry about all the craziness, you guys. Sorry for the yeah. for how the sound is, but this is the best we could do. I don't know what happened since yesterday. Yesterday we were absolutely experts at this, and then somehow overnight <laughs> we just we didn't we lost it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, hey guys. so we should probably go. So it's time for a big... Bring it in! Uh, I should have just done the whole in. thing like this where I could cover my zit. What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And um, we will talk to you from here. And I won't sound like I'm on the landing of the moon <laughs> on Monday. Yay! Bye, everybody. Bye!